Hello, everyone. I'm Sean Taylor Corbett, the host of the 2021 Poetry Out Loud National Finals. Poetry Out Loud is an arts education program that encourages the study of great poetry by offering free educational materials and a dynamic recitation competition for high school students, helping them to master public speaking skills, build self-confidence, and learn about literary history and contemporary life. Each year, high school students nationwide participate in the program, memorizing and reciting classic and contemporary poetry and participating in local, regional, and state competitions. From the thousands of students who competed in the 2020 to 2021 school year, 55 finalists, one from each state, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Guam, and American Samoa, advanced to compete in the Poetry Out Loud National Semifinals. For the first time in the program's 16-year history, the Poetry Out Loud National competition was held virtually due to COVID-19. On May 2nd, each state champion competed in one of three regional semifinals. The three students who scored highest in each semifinal, a total of nine students, advanced to the national finals competition, which was webcast on May 27th. Those nine finalists were Sue Jin Park from Alabama, Aiden Reed from Colorado, Alexandra Rose Zaleski from Nebraska, Raheel Magosha from South Dakota, Kendall Grimes from Tennessee, Samuel Eluemano from Texas, Caden A. Hughes from the U.S. Virgin Islands, Irene Hangen Vasquez from Vermont, and Ben Long from West Virginia. For the national finals, each student submitted pre-recorded videos of their three poem recitations. Judges gathered virtually to watch the videos and independently score recitations based on the official Poetry Out Loud evaluation criteria. Right now, we'll see one of the national finals recitations from each of the students who scored in the top three after two rounds of competition. First up, representing Tennessee, Kendall Grimes from Battleground Academy. A Valediction, Forbidding Morning, by John Dunn. As virtuous men pass mildly away and whisper to their souls to go, whilst some of their sad friends do say, the breath goes now, and some say, no. So let us melt and make no noise, no tear floods nor side tempest move. Twere profanation of our joys to tell the laity our love. Moving of the earth brings harms and fears. Men reckon what it did and meant, but trepidation of the spheres, though greater far, is innocent. Dull, sublunary lovers love, whose soul is sense, cannot admit absence because it doth remove those things which elemented it. But we, thy love so much refined that ourselves know not what it is, interassured of the mind, care less eyes, lips, and hands to miss. Our two souls, therefore, which are one, though I must go, endure not yet a breach, but an expansion like gold to airy thinness beat. If they be two, they are two so as stiff twin compasses are two. Thy soul, the fixed foot, makes no show to move, 
but doth, if the other do. And though it in the center sit, yet when the other far doth roam, it leans and hearkens after it, and grows erect as that comes home. Such wilt thou be to me, who must, like the other foot, obliquely run. Thy firmness makes my circle just and makes me end where I begun. Next, representing Alabama, Sue Jin Park from Auburn High School. The New Colossus by Emma Lazarus. Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame, with conquering limbs astride from land to land. Here, at our sea-washed sunset gates, shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning, and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that twin cities frame. Keep, ancient lands, your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me you're tired, you're poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Finally, representing South Dakota, Raheel Magosha from Washington High School. Breakfast by Mary Lamb. A dinner party. Coffee, tea, sandwich, or supper. All may be in their way pleasant. But to me, not one of these deserves the praise that a welcomer of newborn days, a breakfast, merits. Ever giving a cheerful notice. We are living another day refreshed by sleep, when it's festival we keep. Now, although I would not slight those kindly words we use, good night, yet parting words are words of sorrow, and may not vie with sweet good morrow, with which again our friends we greet, when in the breakfast room we meet, at the social table round, listening to the lively sound of those notes which never tire, of urn, or a kettle on the fire. Sleepy Robert never hears or urn or a kettle. He appears when all have finished, one by one dropping off and breakfast done. Yet has he too his own pleasure? His breakfast hour is his hour of leisure. And left alone, he reads or muses, or else in idle mood he uses to sit and watch the venturous fly, where the sugar's piled high, clambering o'er the lump so white, rocky cliffs of sweet delight. Great job to our top three national finalists. All Poetry Out Loud competitors were judged on six criteria, physical presence, voice and articulation, dramatic appropriateness, evidence of understanding, accuracy, and overall performance. Overall performance and accuracy are worth more than the other categories. This criteria is used throughout Poetry Out Loud, from classroom contests to state finals, and determined the results of our 2021 national finals competition. Okay, now let's go to the announcement of the results of the 2021 Poetry Out Loud finals. Drum roll, please. In third place, winning an award of $5,000, Sujin Park from Alabama. Congratulations, Sujin. Thank you. 
Is there is there anyone you'd like to thank? Um, yes, obviously. <laughs> um, the first part I person I need to thank obviously is my coach. Um, he's gotten me through three years, and it's been an incredible experience with him. And I honestly think you know this is really good together. Uh, I also want to thank my mom, you know, because she's had to always listen to me recite these poems in the car, and just all the all the friends and family that have supported me throughout this process, and also the poets of these um, poems for giving me something that I really connected to. So wonderful! Congratulations. <laughs> okay, now in second place, winning an award of ten thousand dollars. Kendall Grimes from Tennessee. Great job, Kendall. <laughs> Is there anyone you'd like to thank? Yeah, yeah um, first, yeah, I'd like to thank my, my amazing coach, Ms. Campbellson. Um, obviously, could not have done this without her. Um, I'd like to thank the Tennessee Art Commission for being so supportive throughout this entire process. Um, I'd like to thank my friends and then, of course, my wonderful family for supporting throughout this entire thing. I'm just so thankful. That's so wonderful. Congratulations. And that means the 2021 National Champion of Poetry Out Loud winner of $20,000 award is. Raheel Magosha from South Dakota. <laughs> Congratulations, Raheel. This is amazing. Is there anyone, is there anyone you'd like to thank? Obviously, everybody in this room. <laughs> um, my mom for birthing me, my sister for introducing me to the arts in the first place, my coach for teaching me how to use my voice, and the amazing support that I have out there. Oh my God, I love you guys. This has been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so incredible. Congratulations to our new national champion and to everyone who competed in Poetry Out Loud this year. To find out how you can get involved in Poetry Out Loud, visit poetryoutloud.org. Thank you all for watching.